on this immature episode of the NES Pursuit. I could get a good workout on this. The radical crew heads back to a beloved spot with silly spirits. When the bells begin to chime. Ricky thinks gotta catch them all truly is a way of life. Gotta catch them all. Riff gets fuzzy with some VHS tapes. No, it's not these Mary Kate and Ashley ones. The boys try some old bartering tactics to see if they still work these days. Where I hold up two games, but I put a crappier game in front. I put a Madden game in front. Get your slippers on and prepare for dancing dolls, wall jumping, video game vaults, bush tickling, and original games galore. This is the NES Pursuit. again and this time I'm excited to go because the sun is being covered by clouds. It's a beautiful morning so I'm excited. We're going to Rubido. Haven't been here in a while and we're going with we got Gabo, we got Ricky, we got Mikey and we got me so I'm excited. Be my when, when the bells begin to shine Reflecting on my past life and it doesn't. It's Gabo, Riff, Mikey, and me. So it feels good to finally be out of the office. Like usually I'm over there doing the social media and all that, but today I get to game hunt with the boys. The sauce kid. Let's get into it and enjoy this wonderful weather at this wonderful time of year. No! <sighs> 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 Five. So we go up to this booth. I'm literally looking and looking. I don't know how I missed it. Look at Pokemon you. little clock. So Riff picks up, he's like, dude, look at this. I'm like, ah, oh, that thing is amazing. It's really cool. It's a 1999 little Pikachu alarm clock. Little Nintendo 1995. I was gonna grab it, but I know he's into it, so. I know he's gonna buy it for five dollars. I see this little cool looking Pikachu for only five dollars that I would normally snag right away. I actually feel the build of build of it. It's like pretty nice. It's not bad. But I know Ricky likes Pokemon stuff a lot more than I do, so I pass it on. Love Pokemon, but the thing that sold me on this alarm clock, but what honestly sold me the most was when you click the two buttons, it makes this the gotta catch them all. <laughs> that had me right there. I was like, I gotta get it. That right there. And I'm not gonna say no for five dollars for this little clock. Thanks, Riff. Thanks, Riff. What a guy. Now presenting Riffet. <laughs> My little buttercup has the sweetest smile. Dear little buttercup. Sometimes I question my decisions. The very first boot we was watching, the first thing that I see was a... Return of the Jedi table cover. Return of the Jedi table cover from 1983. If I ever told you that I like to collect vintage Star Wars stuff, super old, That's super 1983, before I was born, for six bucks. Does it work? It's pretty clean. Gabo, are you gonna buy this, bro? Probably. I feel like you should. Uh, my favorite thing about Star Wars: Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader, table cover, and he's vintage. Look at that, 1983. 
and of course Chewbacca. My boy, soft skin. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that, but. Five bucks, really good price. It's not Marco Phoenix, but it's JD Phoenix. Well, it's awesome. I don't want to spend that much money, but that is, that's a beauty right there. And I'm not talking about this. That's kind of a beauty. <laughs> normally never pick up is VHS tapes but for some reason when I saw this whole stack lying around so there's a, a VHS I want in here no it's not these Mary Kate and Ashley ones I'll be honest I saw some Mary Kate and Ashley VHS's so I had to go make a joke ah Gabo is trying to get it it's hook but then I also see hook and I have like a weird addiction to hook lately with toys and the movie and different accessories involved with hook I, how much are the VHS's <laughs> 50 cents each? Well, I'll take two. So I get these things for 50 cents each. Talk about a good deal. I'm, I'm legitimately gonna buy a win and roll Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen and Hook. So you need this one. And there's a rabbit. <laughs> What's wrong with these guys? Sorry. So I'm over here celebrating the fact that I just got these VHS's, kind of joking around, and all of a sudden, what do you think of this, Gabo and Mikey? Oh, uh, wait, just kidding. Everybody move. I push the guys out of the way because I see a little stack of NES games. So she said five bucks each for the NES games. One of the best signs right away is when you ask somebody a price for a video game and they don't look up specific games, they just say, ah, oh, they're all five bucks. So I start searching around and I see one in particular that I don't have. The only one I actually need that I really want is Star Tropics. Star Tropics is a fantastic game and this is Star Tropics which came out in 1990. And a lot of people would agree with me that this game needs to come back. Star Tropics is an action adventure video game that involves a character named Mike. The main character, Mike, needs to come to Smash Bros. So Star Tropics on the Nintendo for five bucks, pretty clean too. A lot of people are saying, hey, bring this back. We need this game back. We need a Star Tropics too. I'm picking it up, Gabo. What you think about that? Oh. And to get this game for five bucks, I feel good. I knew that I would now. Nobody said ba na 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 na. So random dude did. This actually feels pretty good, not gonna lie. I could get a good one. Gabo, Gabo, they know you're here. Gabo, they know you're here. Don't let me go. Let me go. I don't like beans, I like chicken. One of the best things about being in the swami is just seriously we act like ding dong. I love it. It's it's funny, it's funny when people look at you and they're like, what's wrong with these people? It's a good feeling. <laughs> Jumping over. I'm out of here! USA, here I come! <laughs> Something I love in particular about collecting Simpson stuff is it's always easy to spot. You can be anywhere from a mile away. You can't miss the bright colors of the Simpsons. Bart Simpson. Look at this too. Look at he, he go he twists and turns. So I see this big old giant Bart sitting on top of a skateboard. And I know this is a remote control Bart Simpson, and the guy says he's missing the remote control. So it's a remote control uh, Bart Simpson, but he doesn't have the remote with it. But he said he'd do it. But he tells me he'll sell it for a buck. Get this big old Bart for a buck regardless is a good deal. That's a lot of bees. For a dollar. So I will take this for a dollar. To get this big old Bart for a buck is a bodacious deal, buddy. That's exactly what I was looking for. I'll take it for a buck. Okay. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. We're cruising around with the beautiful weather shining down on our bodies when I see in the corner a couple Super Nintendo games. 
Gabo, do you ever play Populous? No. What is that? Honestly, I don't know. I think it's like SimCity. And I pulled the old trick that I haven't pulled in a while. But the, the Super Nintendo, a little beat up. But Super Star Wars on the Super Nintendo, where I hold up two games, but I put a crappier game in front. I put a Madden game in front. And I was like, excuse me, how much for these games? And she sees the Madden games. Five bucks each. But little did she know. Super Star Wars was behind Madden. That's okay, it's not really an expensive game, but you know, it's an easier way to kind of get a better deal without cheating or having to lie. Uh, I, some people say it's too hard and some people say they don't like it very much, but I think it's amazing. I love it. I love the sound effects. Sound effects on this are perfect to me. But I pick up Super Star Wars for five bucks, which is a fantastic game. And I'll be honest, I don't know you start one. as Luke. You start as Luke for yeah. sure. There's another one. Yeah, so I'm gonna buy it for five bucks. I would say probably in my top three Star Wars games, probably because I grew up with it, it's one of the ones I played the most. Five dollars? That's the way you do it, Ricky. Where are you at, bro? You're busy looking at toys now. <laughs> Just kidding, I like toys too. I love the sound effects, I love the visuals, I even love the mode seven and some of the racing scenes. So, it's mine, I took it home for five bucks. Gabo, Gabo is jealous. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> Thank you, have a good day, I appreciate you. Good today out here. Last time I came here with Complex, it was brutally sweaty hot out here, but today it feels good. This feels great, and there's still people unloading, which is weird because it's like 12 o'clock. Where's NES Complex? Ricky! So, all suddenly we see a uh, video games booth and everybody was excited, especially Mikey, because he see the pops. So the main thing I'm always looking for when I'm out there hunting is Funko Pops. Hey, Rico, I found this pop for you. I know you're gonna love it. Cool, firewood. Do you like it? No, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, there are tons of games. I don't think we've dug through games like this in a while. There's just tubs of them, we're just like ah. That's exciting. It gives you a rush when you don't know what you're gonna grab. We're here at Robinson Summit. This lady is super nice that we're talking to, and when you meet somebody who's a reseller who's nice right away, you can buy any antique stuff, collectible games, and new stuff too. You know you can get some better deals. So we're all searching around. We're happy to be seeing video games everywhere. And I see a box with a lot of Xbox, OG Xbox games. I'm looking for this game for for a long time and man I found Mega Man Anniversary Collection. I need that for my collection. You can never go wrong with Mega Man, so it is what it is. I don't know if I ever told you that I love Xbox. And also I keep looking around and I found Ultimate Spider-Man. I hear good things about this game. Normally I don't buy superhero games except for Wolverine, he's the best one. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Spider-Man, but the games are really good. I see and people told me that game's pretty good, Ultimate Spider-Man. I got Gabo. Who's here? I have most of this stuff, or I don't need a lot of this stuff, but I did come across Spy vs. Spy. It's actually a pretty common game, and I don't know why I haven't picked it up yet. I've been playing, I used to play it when I was a kid. It was a cool game. This isn't, dude, I used to have this game. Me and my uncle used to play the heck out of this game. By cool, I mean it's only cool to some people because literally all you do in the game, it's not the greatest, but I enjoy it, all right? Everyone hates on it, but I love it. I love hiding the bomb and then kind of try to find it and blow each other up. The main thing I remember is grabbing money and stabbing the other player, which is pretty cool because you're just like duh, duh, duh. This is a fun game for me, okay? Back off. Stabbing is fun. No laughing behind the camera. I don't like beans. I like chicken. I see a game called Freaky Flyers here for only five bucks. Freaky Flyers, gonna grab this for the Xbox. Don't have it yet. I don't really know anything about this game, but I've heard a lot of people talk about Freaky Flyers, so I'm picking this game up. Uh, I've heard good things about this game. I've heard great things about the animation and the style. So pick it up, five bucks. Five dollars, start a little bit more Xbox love, you know, cause you gotta spread love to all different systems and consoles, not just stick to one. That's it, Freaky Flyers, that's all. We all deserve love. Games have equal rights and equal opportunities too. I see Mikey doing something weird over there, but I can't tell what. Is 
Time to quit the show. Stop this brown on brown crime! And after searching for like 30 minutes through all the Funko Pops, which is, there was only maybe like 30 Funko Pops there, but I was just like thinking about the prices because it was retail price. All right, after 30 minutes of deciding which one I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get Majin Buu. He's one of like the most popular villains in, in Dragon Ball. So, you know, I had to get him because he kind of reminds me of Kirby too. So I was like, oh, do I really want to pay for it? But then I saw my boy Majin Buu, the cutest pop in Dragon Ball. And look how cute he looks. Like a little fat, like little Kirby looking person. <laughs> nice and pink. And they were so nice. So I had to get them. So I got Majin Buu in the collection. Let's go. So I'm gonna get them. 10 bucks. Let's go. So we're about to leave this boo. <laughs> so we're about to leave this booth. And I look at the Wii games. I'm like, I don't usually find Wii games I want. But right. one of the games I'm missing from my Wii is Kirby Return to Dreamland. She had Kirby Dreamland on the Wii. I just got this, the GameCube one. Well, GameCube Kirby Air Ride. But I need this one. I, I don't have this game. Every time I see it, it's always $30, $35. I ask her for the price. I'm like, let's just give this a shot. I pick it up. For some reason, I haven't found it. And I really like Kirby games, so might as well give this one a try. She's like, $10. I'm like, all right. I like it. Kirby was my favorite character on the first Smash. For a game that I don't have, $10 isn't bad. Not too shabby. Street Fighter. I think Half Life or uh, Mort talks about this game a bit. How much are the games? Oh, over there. Tres. It's a natural gift. Hey, I'll pay for five dollars worth of whatever you buy next. What? I'll pay five dollars for whatever you buy next. Whatever you buy next is gonna give you five bucks for it. Why? Because he took it from your back pocket. <laughs> really? You didn't even notice it, huh? <laughs> really? In my back pocket? No way. Yeah. yeah. Hey. That's what Sasuke is for. <laughs> oh, I like it, like it, like I think one of the reasons I love today so much is for one specific reason, the weather. It just felt beautiful to be out here. It's like when the weather is perfect, you can have good vibes flowing no matter what you're doing. It was fun to goof off as always. Okay. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Your turn. I did it harder than he said. Oh. <laughs> today was awesome. I don't know, we are in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of, of the mountains. And it's pretty cold. Rafat, no! Rafat! I'm so sorry. I love you. You'll always be number one. So, we're leaving the Swami. This was a great day. I mean, there weren't crazy pickups, but it was awesome. It was fun. I love being out here with these guys, these people. These are my people. That is soft, King. It's so soft, like I'm bleeding. Let me, let me see something. <laughs> <laughs> brown on brown crime. I bring my new shirt, <laughs> and my narration sucks today, like always. But you know, it is what it is. Whatever. That's the second time. <laughs> Hang out with the boys, although I was quite outnumbered by the brown town. But that's okay. I'm just waiting for Jerem, Mort, or NES Complex to come back because they threatened to hurt me. That's where the pursuit plays out. See you guys. Brown people power. <laughs> don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. No, no, no. <laughs> right, Gabo? Yes. Right, Mikey? Yes. Right, Ricky? Yes. Right, NES Complex? Yes. Sale for sale. <laughs> You need some, uh, what is this? Purell? Oh, uh, whatever. Do me. <laughs> oh my god, why'd you put so much? On the last episode of Enya. <laughs> oh, you're gonna. Did it break? Oh no, did it. I'm good though. <laughs> Come on, don't break it. Right, you know how to use it? Me either. <laughs> I see. <laughs> 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 
Got him. Like so much I got this for a dollar? Yes. The weather here is bipolar. <laughs> so. It's like the pitch for everything. <laughs> but for some reason I wanted to check out at this book. Go ahead, Gabo, do what you're doing. So today was Gabo's last day with us. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Complete! Whatever. Bye. Put Why does it say hashtag soft skin hashtag? I don't know what else to say. So. Yes, whoever you are. Um, I remember like when it first came out, it was like one of the best things ever, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> I'm gonna restart it. Uh, first of all, I love gears. So Something, don't even think about it. I do not want my kids to stab. Don't stab. Leave me brown, don't brighten me up. I don't know if I ever told you yeah. that I have. Yeah. Okay, Dry good. skin. Yeah, it was good to have Gabo on the show while it lasted. It lasted longer than I thought. It's like a maraca. <laughs> Star Tropic. Ah! <laughs>